calling GlaxoSmith Client Customer Service. Please note that our options have changed, which now include pandemic and influenza and MedInfo information lines. A message en français suivra. For customer service in English, press 1. For Please note your call may be monitored for quality assurance. Good morning. I'm wondering what adjuvants are added to the H1N1 vaccine. Just one moment. I'll transfer you to medical information. Thank you. Good morning, medical information, bonjour. Good morning. I'm wondering what adjuvants are added to the H1N1 vaccine. Okay, first of all, are you a healthcare professional or are you a patient? Um, potentially a patient need to make some informed decisions, so I'm trying to figure out what's inside the vaccine. Okay, it's, it's called ASO3. Okay. That's the official name of the uh, adjuvant. You want to know the ingredients of the what, what ASO3 contains? Yes, please. Hold on, I'll tell you in a second. Okay, it, it has three ingredients, the three main ones. It's, uh, the first one is squalene. Okay, squalene, yeah. Uh, the second one, DL tocopherol. D-L... Tocopherol. Could you spell that for me, please? T like Tom. O-C-O. T like uh, Paul. H-E-R-O-L. Okay. And the third one, polysorbate 80. Polysorbate 80, okay. Is there any thimerosal in the H1N1 vaccine? Yes. Okay. Is that considered a adjuvant? No. It's a preservative. It's a preservative. Okay, right. understand. Um, what other, now? You said that those were the three main adjuvants, three main ingredients of the AS30 adjuvant. Right. What are the other minor ingredients? Uh, just, just uh, hold on. I have to look them up. Thank you. Hold on. Uh, can you hold on, please? Certainly. Hold on, please. Hello. Yes. Yeah. Sorry, I can't. I can't put a, a hand on it now. I can't see where where that information is because it's all. Yeah, you know, the product is not on the market yet. So our information not all on one one place. Right. So I have to look. Is it possible for me to call you back? Certainly. Certainly. Okay. Um. And, and also, if you could, what is the when you call me back? What is the dosage? of these other components, in, including the thimerosal, in each shot of a vaccine. The, not the dosage, you mean the amount? Is that what you mean? Uh, pardon the my... Means how much uh, How much of the full product you're, you're supposed to take? How many doses? No. Mean? In, in a single um, vaccination shot? Right. Yes. Uh, I'm, I don't know how much a vaccination shot is. Is it a couple of milliliters, or, or you know how much actual vaccine it is? But you know that that would be one factor. Um, then is how much of the the AS30 am I getting? And, and AS, then, it's, it's actually ASO3. Oh, sorry, ASO3. How much of the ASO3? And then out of the you know out of that, how much polysorbate 80 am I getting? Okay, so those three ingredients, because the other ones I don't think we have, but those three ingredients that, that, I, uh, that I mentioned before, how much of them is there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, so yeah. those I can give you now. Those I have. Oh, okay. Okay, squalene, that's 10.69 milligrams. 10.69 milligrams per dose? Yeah, and actually okay. the dose, here it is. The dose of adjuvant is uh, 0 0.5 milliliter. 0 0.5 milliliter, okay. 0 0.5 milliliter. Uh, squ so squalene, there's 10.69 milligrams. DL tocopherol, there's 11.86 milligrams. Okay. And polysorbate 80, there's 4.86 milligrams. 4.86 milligrams. And and is that the same for, for everyone? Like my, my children would get the same amount? Or is there different doses? Uh, see, that, see, that I don't know yet. Yeah, because we, uh, we don't have that yet. Because we don't know what the dosage will be for adults, for children, but we don't know that. Okay. So... I'm not sure if this is for an adult dose or what, that I don't know yet. Okay, well, we, we should probably assume an adult dose. I think dose. it goes by ages. Yeah. 
let's assume it's for everybody, but I cannot be, you know, be 100% sure. As again, again, the product, we're still doing studies on it, right? right so it's right. not like it's a full product on the market where we have all the information already readily available. Right. That's the thing, you know. Now, is the, are the results of those studies available? Um, I, I think one of them, you can go on, um, um, on the website, it's called clinicaltrials.gov. Okay. Um, then you just have to search your way out, of, search for pandemic vaccine or whatever. You know, you'll, you'll have to search and uh, everything would be on it. Okay, so then as all of the trials are being conducted, right. they would all be published right there? Yeah. The, the res- if it's a, yeah, if it's finished, if the trial is uh, finished with the, with the results, it would be there. Yes, this is a known uh, website for any for any product you're looking for. Yeah. Oh, d- I had no idea. Yeah, now, yeah. clinicaltrials.gov is .gov, that a G-O-V, yeah. is that a Canadian government or an, an uh, American government? I think it's a U.S. I think it's a U.S. But it has all the, the it, has, it has the results of all trials. Okay. I, I, I'm not a hundred percent sure if it's all North America or. I'm not sure, but I know they're all they're all there. Ours would be there, anyways, and okay. I think it has other companies also. Okay, um, are, are you aware of any risks of the um, the thimerosal? Because that that one's a little concerning to me. Because you know, thimerosal is made out of mercury, right? So yeah, mercury is one of the components. Yes. Correct. Um, are are there any known side effects of mercury being injected? That's something you'll have to, uh, okay, you, 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 you can go on the, on the WHO, on the WHO website, they're full of information on the internet on that. It's, uh, it's actually the WHO who asked us, who asked to time aerosol to be put in. Okay, so it's a known uh, preservative, and you need a preservative, because it's a multi-dose vaccine. Multi, you know, it's, it's a vial, which is a multi-dose uh, vial, which means it's for different, several people, so you have to have a, a, a preservative in it. So this, uh, the, the story about thimerosal has been going on for years and years and years. And uh, the consensus is, is from, from the WHO and from all the health authorities uh, that there is no, uh, there's no risk. That mm-hmm. all the, 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 the illnesses have been attributed to mercury. It's not, there's no proof of that. Okay. But you can find a lot of information on, on the WHO website, on the CDC website, I'm sh- I think on Health Canada's website also. Okay. And, and it was actually the WHO that asked uh, thimerosal to be inside of the vaccine? Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. it has to, yeah, you have to have it a, a preservative because it's a multi-dose vial. It's not a uni-dose vial, you know? Right. Yeah. Right. Um, now, now, given that it's a multi-dose vial, is there any risk of disease transmission between dosages? So, like, they they take a, a dose out of the vial for me, and and then they take a dose out of the vial for you. Now, yeah, but they're not going to go with the same syringe in it. Well, are are they just changing the needle portion of the syringe, or are they changing the entire syringe itself? Multi-dose vials have existed for for a long time, so it's a, the, the, the nurse, whoever is giving, will, will know what to do. So I'm not sure exactly what what exactly, but it's not you're not going to have the same um, the same part that went to a one patient going to you. It's impossible. So I don't know exactly how it's gonna, how it's done. Is there not a manufacturer suggested procedure? I'm sorry. Is there a manufacturer suggested procedure? There, I'm sure there will be, but it will be on the final product monograph, which we don't have yet because the product is not on the market yet. Okay. You know, but uh, but in general, this type of thing, it's already, the, the healthcare, but usually I think the, the unusual manufacturers don't give that kind of uh, recommendations. It's the healthcare professional who, who gives the vaccine or any other product who would know what to do. Usually it's them who, uh, who know what to do. Like we, it's, it's a known practice from all healthcare professionals, nurses, whoever gives injections. Okay. So, so that they would know what to do, yeah. Okay. And um, so now, do you have the amount of... We, we went through the polysorbid 80 and the ASO3 mm-hmm. contents. Um, do we know how much thimerosal is in each uh, each dose? That I might have. I see a 5 microgram here. I don't know if it's mercury or it's thimerosal. 5 microgram per dose. It's just not clear if it's 5, mi- five microgram on the mercury or 5 microgram on the thimerosal. Mercury is a component of 
Correct. Correct. Uh, hold on, please. Hold sure. On. Okay, I'll get those answers and I'll, and I'll call you back. Fantastic. If I'm not able to answer my phone, then please just send it on uh, on voicemail. I can leave it on voicemail? Yes, please. Okay, good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye.